In this video, we're going to go over how to give comments and feedback on Google Classroom to your students. The first thing I'm going to do is go into my Classwork tab here. And I'm going to be looking at this assignment, the Solid, Liquid, and Gas Molecules assignment. You can see here that three turned it in, and three were assigned, so that means three out of the six have turned this in. I'm going to uh, click on the View Assignment button right here, and this brings me into my Student Work view. I can then navigate to just the ones turned in or the assigned ones. This will take me to the Google um, Drive folder for this assignment. Uh, but what I'm going to do is click on the student one here. This is going to open up my view for giving comments and feedback. The first thing I'm going to do, because I know that three students are not in this in, is I'm going to go up here. Here, you can see that I can navigate between the students. The problem is it goes alphabetical order. And that can be kind of time consuming because I have to skip over the ones that were just assigned and turn it in. To fix that, I click on this down arrow here. And what I do is instead of first name, last name, I change it to status. So now it's changed to status. So now all the ones turned in are first and the ones assigned are later on. This can be really, really helpful if you are um, doing a class of, let's say, 50 or 60 students and 40 of them turned it in, you're skipping around. Uh, this will save you time. The next thing I'm going to do is over here, this one is for grading. I can give in grades and private comments. Um, just know that um, the private comments will appear immediately. Students will be able to see this. So if I type in a private comment here on student one, they are going to see that comment immediately as, soon as I click on post. Down below the grading section is your comment box, or your comment bank, I should say. These are all comments that you guys can put in. These are specific comments for you, things that you might say all the time um, or be constantly putting in there and you don't want to type them. So if I add to the bank um, here, this, was, this is exactly right answer way to go okay and I click add this adds this to my comment bank to access your comment bank I'm gonna close this side panel all you have to do is highlight a word a paragraph or a phrase something you want that you're saying this is the right answer to over here you see the comment add a comment now what I do is I type in the hashtag. So shift and three will give me the hashtag. And if I wanted to say exactly, all I st started typing in one word from that phrase, it pops up, comment, go. So that is the easiest way to put in comments. And then I click the next student. So the next student is student three. All right, so I can highlight this. Just take a little bit here. And I put in a comment, hashtag. All my comments pop up, great work, comment. Now, the one thing you wanna be uh, aware of is students will not see this comment because they turned it in to you, which means they've changed the ownership from themselves to now you own that. It, uh, to show you that, I will go over here. You can see this is student view for student three. Um, you can see right here that it shows that I'm highlighting something, but you cannot see comments. That's because the ownership is on the teacher. However, if I return this to the student, I'm going to return it with no grade. Okay, so after I return this to the student, the student, again, I might have to refresh this. It might take some time here, but the student will then have access again. And what will happen then will be they'll actually be able to see the comments that you left there. There it is. So after I return it to the student, it's just like, think about it as returning a test, physical test to students. Um, they can't see their grade until you return it to them physically or their comments uh, on an essay. So it's the same way in Google Classroom. Uh, now they can go in. If I gave them constructive feedback here, I, they can redo it and turn it back in. So again, giving those comments and feedback can be really really helpful and this is the easiest way to do it when you're in back in this view um, you will actually see if I put in comments 
and it's hard to see because it's over here. Let me move this over here. Private comments will actually come up underneath the student's name. So if I want to be sure that I'm commenting on every work in a private comment, giving them some sort of feedback, on this left side here, I can I can do that. All right. So the reason that this is is coming up assigned is because student three was the one that we just did and returned to the student. So now I can go back and I can relook at student three. Here's my private comment. I can see that these guys have turned it in, but I have not given them feedback yet. So that is how you do the, the grading, the feedback, the comments all on Google Classroom. That's the easiest and quickest way. I hope that helps.